What's going on, guys? <clears throat> the heck was that? <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Nistro here, and today we're looking at another Halo 5 Forge map. It's been quite some time since I've uploaded a video on Halo 5. And from, well, from Halo 5, and I think it's about time I do that again. Now, I want to give a little update real quick before we get right into this map. Uh, next week, I will not be uploading as many videos as I have been recently. Technically, I haven't been uploading a whole lot of videos anyways. But uh, I'm going to be uploading some videos here and there uh, throughout next week because I will be on vacation. So this one is going to be pre... I'm going to be at pre... Uh, pre-making videos for next week uh so uh so from sunday from this coming saturday to next saturday is when i will be gone and not making videos sadly i'm gonna try to make a few prefab videos some more forge map videos i also have another gameplay video with me and my friend kazu um i if you will please if you haven't seen those uh two gameplay videos or the most recent one on halo mcc go check those out his link the link to his channel is down in the description of those videos. Uh, and I hope you guys will enjoy those because I want to try to make a lot more of those. Uh, I, uh, one of mine, uh, one of my, two of the videos have been doing oh, pretty okay. 29 views in the past three days and 49 views in the past from from about a week ago. It's amazing. I love it. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and everything that I've been making. But anyways, let's get right into this map. This map here is made by 7th Orca. He made... The uh, Halo Infinite Raid a while back, uh, and I don't know when he made this one. Uh, I did not look at the date. All I know is that I said it was made by him, and I thought it looked cool because it looks like a St. Keely temple, and it says it's a social. Um, and hopefully I have the right game mode for this, so that way we can you know play on it, because I did not really check to see if there was team spawns. I did look at it, though, in Forge just for a little bit, and I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on it. So let's go. Now, everyone here knows on my channel, and if you don't know because if you're new, I love Sankili uh, designed things. They uh, interest me. They are very interesting. I love it. Now, what caught what caught my eye was the uh, front the front area. I thought it looked interesting. I was like, "Ooh, this looks cool." And then I saw the big, huge opening of the of the temple right there in the center of that photo. And when I was looking around the map with my friends, a lot of us were like, oh, this is really interesting. It's got it's got its own little design. Because it, in my mind, when I think of St. Keeley uh, temples, well, the Elite's homeworld, uh, I'm assuming different bloodlines, different houses have different designs for their, uh, you know, different designs for their temples and what they do. So I kind of... So with how it's made is... Uh, is pretty interesting. Now, real quick, I want to say that to the left of the spawn, I don't know if he meant to leave this here or if this was here, like, before he started building. This here is a little layout of the entire, uh, of the entire temple, which is pretty interesting. I think this is, like, the front, front door, like, right there. And I think it's pretty interesting that he made a little map layout of every single area, which is pretty neat because I don't really see that on a lot of maps. Now going out th going up to the front little court courtyard area, well, the front door and then there's the courtyard. I love I love the design of the, you know, the entrance. It's interesting. It's not uh he has the entrance piece turned upside down to give it a little bit of a different design instead of it being like mostly every other single temple. He's got a nice little Sankili fountain here, and I like how he made the one rock shiny as if it's wet from the water coming out of the, the head of that elite it's a mouth. That's interesting. And he did it here as well. I like how he used the uh, foreigner energy. I think that's what that is for the uh, for the water there. I'm assuming that's what that's supposed to be for. And when I walked when I walked in, I loved the I loved the trees. I loved the little sight when you walk in here, and I like that there's like little symbols on like before you enter the area. The only thing is, is that if I have symbols, I try 
because I always look to see what the uh, decals say, and that one there set that one there is a phantom. And the top symbol is a phantom. I probably wouldn't have used that. I probably would have used something else besides a phantom. Uh, that stands for swords. So I probably would have used something a little bit different. But going around the courtyard, I it's <clears throat> going around the courtyard. It's it's not it's pretty nice. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. I will say the uh, is this supposed to be a sword dueling arena? I think that's what this is supposed to be. It's a sword dueling area. Yeah, it's a sword dueling area now that I... Because there's two different platforms. I think that's what this is for. If not, then that's a landing pad of some sort. Going over here. We got a nice little gravity lift. Could have, You could have used the St. Keely uh, lifts. And just, you know... We got, we got the nice little tower up here. kind of So we can just kind of look out upon St. Kelios. Nice, beautiful sunset on, on this map. I, I, I do love this. I don't really normally look out into the distance on this map, but I like how he has these towers here so you can kind of get a nice view of everything. That way it's like a nice view of like all the hills and over there, and that one it's like a nice view of all the mountains. But going into the temple... I didn't mean to fall. But going into the temple... Well, I did mean to fall. Now, uh... For, for me, if I was building this, I wouldn't have used the smooth, just normal concrete. I would have used uh, the stone texture. Because for me, since Sankili are in, like, they were in that old age, they probably would have used some, like, stone type building things. I went When I went to Forge, I changed the texture of that to stone. And me and, like, three or four of my friends, and one of my friends who's a forger, uh, all of them said, yeah, it would look, it would have looked a little bit better if some of these things were stone and not every single thing was like the same uh, skin texture. Which I don't know when this was made. It could have been before that had before he had the option to do that. But we, but you know, again, I don't know. But walking in, I like the like nice little dark feel because this is in a cave. It looks nice. And I like how there's a little sun air spot right there that kind of just bleeds in. Because right here, it's like the sun just comes in real nice. That's real interesting. Nice little banners there. Now, walking in, I loved the uh, I loved the little place where the fire pits were. I loved where... I loved, like, the design of this area. It was it was really interesting to kind of walk in and be like, Oh, this, this, is a, this is a nice little design temple. Now, I... I now the one thing I do like about uh No, I don't think this is gonna work unless it's in Forge. Yeah, this doesn't work unless it's in Forge. It's uh that that's broken. In Forge that worked. You can sit in that in Forge, but in uh custom games you can't, so that kinda sucks. Now back behind the ch the little chair, they have a nice little Now because St. Kelly are old in culture, their stuff is kinda like old and they have like this old style feel to them yeah that's really creepy they uh they have like these old style like places to sit beds whatever else and i like uh i like the design of this it never crossed my oh so he does have the stone texture so never mind yeah he does have the old old that he you know he made that one okay but uh i like the i like the mindset of this because whenever i build my temples and whatever else for saint Kili, i have an old saint Kili temple video um and I, I would have, when I when I made the, the chamber for the Kaiden, I just made it a big room where it looks like he would stand up and up there with his, uh, with the elders of the bloodline to kind of just like give judgment to whoever just did stupid within their, within their house. But going through the rest of the temple, the thing that made me freak out was when I walked in here, I was like, okay, what's up with this freaking Ascendant Realm Destiny 2 weird like lighting thing? But I kind of walked around and I came back here and I was like, "Ooh, a nice little spring." I thought it looked nice. I liked the uh I like that this is actually kind of like a pretty deep little spring. I couldn't I didn't know how deep it was, so when I went into machine mode, I was like, "Oh, it kind of goes it just goes up to my chest. That's pretty good." But it's a nice uh it's a nice it it's a nice little it's it's a nice design spring again. I don't I don't build stuff like this. If I build a temple, I just build like a simple just a normal temple. But going through the rest of this place, I thought it was uh, really nice. It was a good 
designed uh what the heck there's more i can't see it's dark why is it so dark i can't see in here i wonder if i can see more in there if i go into a player mode but uh this uh this temple in my opinion it's nice uh there's some things on this that i there's some things here that i would not do or forge the way that it was forged okay yeah i can't see in here i don't know if this is like accidental or what it's just a dark little passageway there's stuff in here i th I think that's supposed to be like a hieroglyphics type of room or something like that. I'm not sure because I, I, when the flash of the grenade went off, I saw some stuff on the walls. So I don't really know. But uh, yeah, this uh, this map this map's pretty good. I love it. Uh, if it's a if, since it's a social map, it I'm pretty sure a few uh, Saint Kili community people would uh, play on it and just kind of. Now, because how some of them like to have their own style to things, they probably would change stuff on it. But me, I don't really like to change what someone's already done. Uh, kind of, I try to like, I try to keep people's original design to things if I can. And I don't like, because if, if, if there is something I don't like about a map, I will probably change it slightly. But I won't change it to the point to where it's not recognizable to the original owner. But uh, I really do like the map. Now, uh, Orca, if someone ends up saying, hey, you're on this guy's channel again, uh, yeah, uh, I, I really want to know how to script those foreigner towers, because I, my, my Zeta Halo maps would be ten times better with those scripted, uh, you know, lights going up into the sky. You know, if you see this, you know, hit me up, my guy. But anyways, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. And I hope people enjoy the videos I will be uh, making for people to see. This will be uploaded today on uh, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, so I'm going to be uploading it today. So I hope you guys... Uh, I hope you get... Yeah, let me actually say the date. And so, uh, the 3rd of October. So, 3rd of October, Wednesday. Anyways... Hope you, oh my word, why am I starting to yawn at the end of the video? No! But anyways, I'll see you again. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.